Welcome to the Introvert Sisters, the podcast by introverts for introverts, hosted by Sharon and Lisa, two INFJs with a lot to say. Hi, I'm Sharon. And I'm Lisa. And together, we're the Introvert Sisters. Welcome to our podcast. Do you like our song? <laughs> um, that we just made up on the fly. <laughs> that we did, yes. Let us go right to it with introverts uniting separately. So, sis, the US mm. election, which we have talked about on a couple of off topic episodes. And as of the time of this recording, the saga is still ongoing. Is it Duh possible? Rama that the orange one can stay in power and not give up the White House and the presidency? Well, I think it's possible. Of course, it's what he wants, you know, but is it legally possible? I have seen a couple of pundits uh, that, you know, on online that have said, apparently it is legally possible for him to just sort of remain, just sit there like mold in a fridge <laughs> on the vegetables that die in your vegetable bin. That he'll just go, He's just going to sit there. And hope that nobody notices. Okay. Apparently. Well, what I have seen is that while it is technically possible, it relies on one thing to happen, which is for key states to change, to become faith, to have faithless electors. And four of the key states in right, contention. I've been seeing this. I've right. Been seeing, what, what, are, what are faithless electors? Those are electors. Huh? Yes. Genesis? Those are electors that go against the popular vote, the vote of the state. Because apparently in this system that the Americans have, you vote for, you have the popular vote and then the electoral vote is actually delivered by a slate of electors. Mm -hmm. And so it is possible for them to be faithless. Now, right. I, think, I think 30 something of the 50 states have, have made it a crime for electors to do that. Mm -hmm. But the important thing here is I read a new story recently that said that the key states in question have already said, no, we're not doing that. We're not getting a new slate who are going to just turn the, 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 the election over. We are going with what the voters of our state have decided, mm -hmm. no matter how mm -hmm. we personally feel about it. And these are actually okay. uh, Republican controlled states that have actually said this. So I think that that possibility of election theft is receding rapidly. And hopefully okay. by the time this airs, I think by the time this airs, it won't quite be put to bed because we we'll still have a couple of mm -hmm. days before things are signed. I mean, the process can go all the way into the middle of December. So, you know, this saga right. could be ongoing for a while, but the possibility appears to be receding. And speaking well, of I timing... Yeah, you know what's coming up the day that this episode drops. What is it? What could it be? Hmm, let me think. My birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lisa. Happy birthday to you. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> so and today, yes. once again, once again, I am twenty-five years old. And I have been for, for the last several birthdays. <laughs> well, yes, that's okay. I love birthdays. Birthdays are like my favorite thing. Yeah. And I mean, mine, mine or other people's. I just like the idea of celebrating life, you know? Yes, yes, yes. yes. And, and they're great uh, fun. I know that you have already started your birthday celebrations in style. Right. Yeah. yeah. So me, me and a friend of mine, um, you know, we went into the city and which neither of us had done, obviously, with COVID and all of that. You know, we barely left our respective houses. So it really felt like, you know, going out on some kind of a, a you know, city safari kind of a thing. <laughs> and oh, we were, there are the natives, natives in the wild. It was good. It was better than... Uh, the last time I went, mm -hmm. in that it felt it felt is beginning to feel more like regular New York. Okay. Um, we did okay. go to we did go to Bryant Park, and I don't know if you know, but every year there are these um, some outdoor and some indoor markets. Okay. Uh, that are held. There's like one in Union Square. There's Bryant Park. There's one in Grand Central Station, like dotted around the city. 
and normally you know they're chock full of vendors and all kinds of goodies and crowds of people buying stuff that they don't need mm -hmm. which is you know that's kind of like what this time of year is partially about and buying gifts for gifts for other people that the other people don't need those gifts either but you know yeah. get people gifts is what we do yeah, yeah. that's what we do anyway so so we went to Bryant Park and it was a little scanty Okay. It was a little scanty. It was, it was happening. At first we, we thought, oh, we actually never considered like doing some research and seeing, well, is it actually on? But mm -hmm. as it turned out, it was happening. But there were very, very few stalls, mm -hmm. um, which, which, which was good. I understood the reason for it. Uh, you know, normally it's, it's chock-a-block. Mm -hmm. You know, stall after stall after stall. Like there's no, it's barely but It was well spaced walk. out. It was very well spaced out. Um, there was still the ice skating going on, but even that, you know, there were fewer people. Mm -hmm. uh, so I thought it was very well done, very well managed. Uh, every stall had a prominently placed sign saying masks are required. Uh, and even generally, people were very aware. I mean, of course, these stalls are, are small, right? The booths mm -hmm. are small. So every now and then, you know, and people realize, okay, there's too many of us in here. People would just like excuse themselves or say, okay, well, if you're ready to purchase, I'll step out until you're done. So people were very oh, respectful yes. of other people's space. Respectful of oh, space. Nice. And, I know, I know. Because wow. the last time I went in, which was maybe, I don't know, months to a couple of months ago at this point, yes. um, I was worried. I was like, okay, New York is going to just burn because nobody's wearing their masks. Nobody seems to care. But <laughs> it was a different vibe it's, this time. It's a different vibe. It's probably, you know, common sense is probably beginning to prevail now that there is a new president elect, but whatever. <laughs> that, <laughs> that believes in science. What? I'm just saying. That said, wear a mask. For that almost, said, wear almost a mask. the first thing he said was, wear masks, people. Wear masks. Okay, so yes, of course. So that was good. Um, science. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, science and scientists and, you know, Dr. Fauci is once again um, getting more of a platform. Form and and so I think all of this, like the tide is turning, and of course there's the threat right now that New York is going to go into another shutdown. Anyway, of course. Of all course. that being said, so actually, um, me and my friend had a blast <laughs> because it was just before my birthday. <laughs> so actually, speaking of you know new shutdowns, new lockdowns, which are happening all around the world, mm -hmm. what is this? What is this? How does this affect holiday travel plans? Because I mean, you usually come and you know spend Christmas with your people. I know. I don't want to come again. <laughs> no, no, I'll be able to. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I but, am intending that this is all, all going to work out. That's all. It's I'm all going to. It's all going to work out. It's all going to be fine. Um, but of course, there are protocols as as there should be. As there should be. Uh, so okay. So right now, to get into Barbados, as far as I know, you can correct me if I'm wrong because you probably have more uh, up to date information. But as of the last time I checked, the protocol was get a test, get a test here. Obviously, hopefully yeah. a negative yeah. test. Yeah. Um, yeah. Travel with it. Yeah. Um, it has to be valid within three days. Sorry, three days. I was yeah. trying to do it in hours and I was like, Lisa, <laughs> I can't believe that you. Anyway, whatever. Why are you trying to do math in the middle of the podcast? I, I don't know. And it's and a simple math and I just, my brain just froze. Anyway, but yes, it has to be valid within three days. You land, right? Mm -hmm. And now here is where you, you and I can, can, uh, can, can align and see if our information is, is the same. So my understanding is basically you present uh hopefully a negative test if you present a negative test you still have to go into quarantine is my understanding um for five days right at at a quarantine hotel that's the latest thing okay so, so what has that changed here is the you're almost right mm -hmm. you're almost right in that you have to have had an, a test within three days of your travel date a negative mm -hmm. test yeah. You get is it called a PCR with, test? It's a PCR test, but it's a particular kind of PCR test. It's the one that goes up to your brain. <laughs> the nasal, right? Ugh. Right? Not the one that's down here, the one that's up there. Right? That oh nasal swab. Anyway, point being that you, you have this negative test, you get tested at the airport, provided that mm -hmm. is negative, you go to your hotel, 
your quarantine right. hotel and you have another test within three days of your within five days of your first negative test so if you have traveled with a negative test it's about three days after you arrive right right and there, and, and and if, there and are and there are specific hotels there are specific there are quote, specific unquote, quarantine hotels, hotels. You're right yes and if your test is then negative then you can leave the next day so you may only have to spend three nights in a hotel before okay. you're free to go okay. on to okay. your and uh, live the rest of your life com right. you know complying with protocols right you know so if you're negative and you come with your negative test because you can't travel right. without it these days i mean i yes. don't think you, right but there was a piece of good news just before we started recording which was that the barbados government has partnered with uh, a medical facility that will do the tests in the US and Canada and guarantee to get the results back to you within 48 hours, right? Mm -hmm. And they will come to your home to do the test. All that happens oh. is that, yes, they will come to your home to do the test. Okay. Check your WhatsApp. They will come right. to your home to do the test. And then you have to, you know, once, you, once you've, they've done the test, you basically get it in the post and they, they will get it back within 48 hours. So, okay. right. So, all right, because it, it has to be discussed. So what happens if you get a positive test upon you've traveled, of course, with a negative test, yeah. supposedly. Right. Yeah. And so what happens if upon landing or whatever, you somehow end up with a positive test? Yeah, then where you do you get spirited away to St. Lucy? You get is what I've heard to, you get you get spirited away to St. Lucy where they test you regularly until you have had the last I heard was two consecutive negative tests, at which point you will be free to go. Uh two consecutive ne negative tests. How far how far apart? That I'm not sure about. Because uh, I heard you have to be in St. Lucy for like two weeks. Well, that's the that is the standard quarantine period, right? So mm -hmm. if that happened, if that happened, and you know, I have to say that in the case of someone who has basically been home all the time, is fanatical about cleaning and masking and so on, then your That would be me. It appears <laughs> to me from the outside that if you travel and you follow the same protocols that you've been following for months, right, when you travel, then the likelihood is that you will come in, you will get your second negative test and you will be free to go. Of course, there's an outside yes. chance because of course you're reliant, on on the, plane. you're reliant on, yeah, you're reliant on the good behavior of other people. Yeah. Right. Uh, so if that happens and then, and then what happens actually, even after assuming you don't have it, they do follow up with you for a couple of weeks after your arrival for you to, mm -hmm. you know, report your temperature and so on. So they're keeping tabs okay. on people. Right. So right. I guess the thing is that in a case, you know, I would say, you know, if you are able to plan to come for a month so that if you right. lose two weeks, you, you still, still have, have two, two weeks, we you still have two weeks. And if you yeah. don't lose, yeah. if you, you know, if you lose five days, then you have three and a bit weeks, right. <laughs> you know? So yeah. I think that would be the thing, you know, you know, come mid December, fly back mid January, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, I actually, I started to try and book, I mean, everything is so weird nowadays, uh, up to, well, last night, basically. Um, <laughs> I was trying to book and I was trying to book on American Airlines and it kept booting me out and um, asking for all kinds of bizarre information that ordinarily you would never have. And somehow it thinks that I'm booking and that I'm in Barbados and, and doing the booking there, saying you have to use our U.S. site, and I'm like, I am on your U.S. site. Anyway, <laughs> so that, that's been an interesting adventure. So I'm going to make another attempt today and see what happens. Okay, so, okay, okay. And, and oh, the, the last thing to say about this is that there is an online travel form that you have to fill out, which says, you know, here is my home address. I haven't traveled to X number of places. Uh, I have a negative test. I can upload the results and all this kind of thing. And basically, once you've completed that, where is that? Wait, wait, there, there is a link. There's a link. There's a link. It's an international ED form that is made available by the Barbados government. Okay. Okay. There's a link to it. When you know, if you if you were to even just Google travel to Barbados during COVID, right. I'm right. sure everything would come up. 
and you know they come out every they come out with new protocols updated protocols every couple of weeks and all the links are in there as well so oh, nice. okay you know cool that beans. information will not be hard to get hold of good to know right mm -hmm. <sighs> yes anyway <laughs> but it'll be good to be home I'm, I'm determined yes and we're determined for you to be home too <laughs> So having, having spent half of our introduction on COVID. <laughs> <laughs> COVID and the election. And ne neither of these are the main topic, right? Neither, neither of these are the main topic. I feel like we should get into our main topic. Yes. Fairly sharpish. Which is, which is, which is still kind of related, still about the holidays. It's about yeah. Thanksgiving and the holidays in general. Because Thanksgiving, um, which is basically about a week away at the time that this is going to air, right? Mm -hmm. So Thanksgiving is about a week away and it can be tough for introverts, right? Yes. Holidays yes. in yes. general yes. Yes. can be tough Absolutely. for introverts. Absolutely. Um, and so we're going to go through some survival strategies and whatever. I mean, I definitely remember, um, you know, this is when I was married and that's... <laughs> Emphasis on was. Yes, emphasis on was. <laughs> emphasis on was, that's all that needs to be said on that score. <laughs> but um, one of the very stressful uh, aspects of that whole shenanigan, I use shenanigan in the singular, and I'm very proud of myself, I have to yes, say, I just want to yes, say that. Yes. I never thought there could be one shenanigan, but here we but, are. But in and this case, there could be, yes. Yeah, there was one shenanigan. So um, Thanksgiving was always tough. Because it was kind of, it was just me and the entire huge family of very, you know, they were uh, boisterous is the nicest word that boisterous I could use. Boisterous is a good description of that family dynamic. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, passive aggressive with the emphasis on the aggressive, but I'm not going there. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's let that one slide. We will talk let about relationships slide. another time. <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole other time. But, um, but it was a lot. Because mm -hmm. it was a lot, a lot, a lot of people, a lot of energy, um, it, trying to fit in where you did not necessarily fit in. And so it was every year. And then I was like stuck there for mm -hmm. four days. Yes. 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 So <sighs> many people relate, I'm sure. I'm sure people relate. I'm sure people relate. So, so if, if, how, mm -hmm. do, how does an introvert navigate this holiday period this upcoming thanksgiving and other holiday periods and other holidays right without you know completely just losing their marbles <laughs> okay so the the good thing which i i hate to frame it this way because covid is bad <laughs> covid yes. is bad COVID wish is bad. it had never happened however mm -hmm. um it does give one a very very valid excuse for spending Thanksgiving alone. <laughs> Just spend it alone. Say you're not comfortable, which is probably true, right? You're not comfortable. You don't feel safe. You don't want to put yourself or others at risk, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, um, which you shouldn't want to do, to be honest. So um, yeah. a, big, a big survival tip is just spend Thanksgiving alone. What do, what do you think? I think, that is a, I think that's actually a, a, a great idea. You yeah. know, you can, you, you know, you avoid the awkwardness, you avoid the aggressiveness, you in, avoid the aggravation. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you can set up a Zoom call with your, with your nearest and dearest or your farthest and dearest, as they would be in this case. <laughs> your farthest and dearest. <laughs> right. You set up a Zoom call. Yeah. And, you know, you talk. Be, be in and out in a couple of hours. You in and out in a couple of hours or less. Yes. Meanwhile, meanwhile, you have planned properly. You have ordered your food, your food, your snacks, any supplies, etc. You've ordered all of that in good time. You've queued and up so your movie playlist. You've queued up your movie playlist and your bunker, your bunker of comfort is all set. Right? <laughs> and so that's what you do. Like just, you know, put yourself first. And this might be the year that you start a new tradition and get people out of the habit. Of expecting you to show up and stay. So and that's. I yeah. would say, and, and you know, this actually applies to a, a, a great many occasions on which introverts find themselves in a, in, you know, in social situations they want to escape. If you have mm -hmm. to travel, drive yourself. Oh, you know, yes. sometimes, you know, I, I will admit to this, you know, there's sometimes, sometimes it is nice to share a ride with somebody. 
-hmm. But sometimes it's nice to know that if you need to, you can just pick up and go. Have yes. a means of escape. And this will make you more relaxed. Yeah, because if you know, if you know going in, if you know on your way there that at any time you can just, you can exit and you're in full control of when you exit, mm -hmm. that is definitely going to take down um, your anxiety level. Or like, like you said, if you are traveling with someone, make sure that you and that person are aligned, you know? Exactly. Um, and that, exactly. yes. <laughs> yes, have your signal for it's time to go and agree in advance that you're both going to honor it. Yes, you, Simple you, as you, that. You, you know, have a signal, a safe word, something, just do, do, <laughs> do something so that you can both survive. Right? Okay, sis. So what's your next uh, tip? My next tip is guest don't host. Oh. All right. If it's an introvert, if it's an introvert, you know, you don't like entertaining. And by you, I mean me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I, I'm me. But girl you, well, you do such a you good know, job though side note no, you is, like it more than me sis side note is that you know side i note. like entertaining certain people there are people that are in my inner circle there are people you know friends i've had for years and it, it is always a pleasure to spend time with them and you yes. know entertaining yes. them is like having family round you know those are not people yes. where i have to put on a show those are people where i can come and say help yourself to a cup of tea or yeah you know, no i ran out of tuna you're gonna have to have <laughs> you know right more, right you know those people that doesn't feel like entertaining entertaining is when you have a larger crowd of yeah. people that you, and, and it includes people you might not be as close to that you know you see, for me it's... entertaining is one more person like just, just... <laughs> <laughs> that's quote so how much more extreme for introverts entertaining is one more person i love it <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just, I just can't. I, I mean, I, I do it. I have done it. I do it. And Are you do it with grace like, too. Thank you. Thank you. I try, you know, you have to put on, you know, zip up your extrovert suit and your hostess suit and yeah, rely you know, on sort your of home do jazz training. hands and, and right. And make it, make it work. But yes. I, I don't enjoy a second of it, to be honest. Okay. Um, so guest, be a guest. Don't be a host, right? Okay. Don't force yourself to do it at this time of year where, emotions are already high um you know also like the you know the election and other important topics which makes it uh, you know, all, of, all of this is going on right yeah. uh so yeah guests guests don't host right okay. um if you if you find yourself having to be a guest try not to be an overnight guest if you find yourself having to be an overnight guest do it in a hotel <laughs> <Our system. laughs> <laughs> we thought through all of this have a space have a space to retreat to mm -hmm. there are there are definitely social situations in which it makes sense to stay to stay nearby yeah rather than to stay with yes <laughs> right yes. Uh, yes. so that you so you know most, at a certain most point, situations <laughs> at a certain point you can exit <laughs> you know can't. it's funny you know when i do certain tests i come out as 90 something percent introverted and now right now in this conversation i'm feeling like you are at 101 percent <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm 150. I'm, I'm like, yes. <laughs> okay, so my next tip would be pace yourself. Okay. You have okay. the freedom to say no to social gatherings. You mm -hmm. do not need to attend every gathering that you're invited to. You can turn mm -hmm. down invitations, as many of them as you please. And I mean, we're talking about the holidays here, but this can apply to other social situations as well. I yeah. have finally got to the point with my friends where I can say, look, I'm socialed out. I have done X, yeah, Y, and Z yeah. this week. I, you know, if we are to get together, let's make it next week. I don't think I can handle anything again, anything more this week, right? Yeah. And that um, works with people that you're close to. It's a little, course. it's a little harder with other people, but you still yeah. have the freedom to say no, right? You do to say you no. Do. And and listen, let me tell you, that little five minutes of guilt, right, <laughs> is worth it for all those hours of blissful freedom. <laughs> just think blissful of the ratio alone time blissful alone time and i just wanted to add if you replace the word um gathering with argument right because yes. you just said you don't need to attend every gathering that you're invited to also at this time of year right again racism election etc etc you don't need to attend every argument <laughs> that, that you're invited, invited to, to i love right? it so, i love it you can choose remember to, to pace yourself exactly choose you to can... stay home or if you're there pace yourself in terms of that too of what conversations you're going to even engage in i love it sis i love it because yeah. because of course you know we introverts uh, 
well, some of us are empaths. So, you know, this whole argument thing can get very, very difficult, very quickly. Mm -hmm. But yeah. also, you know, we think a lot of things, but we don't necessarily have to say them. I, as I just yeah. was discussing with someone the other day, not everything that's in your mind has to make it to your lips. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. Right? So I think that's you know, a good self -edit. point. Self-edit. Self-edit. Yes. Right. Yes. And it's, 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 again, it's a matter of self-care. It's, it's really for you even more than the other people. Like yeah. if you know that you're going to get, um, things are going to get salty, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Just don't do it. Just do not you, go there. Okay. So another tip. You don't, yeah. exactly. You don't. Yeah. Another tip. Another um, tip. Another, another tip is, um, if, uh, uh, you, you are guesting, which you should be, as we've established before, <laughs> Uh, arrive late on purpose, right? Now, let me let me be clear on this. I'm not a fan of people just randomly being late. If you, if you, your host uh, um, is a more formal kind of host and they have a sit down, I don't know, it could be six, eight people and you know that they're timely, they're good with time and they have their menus planned to start at a certain time, please be respectful of that. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. So, However, that aside, a lot of Thanksgiving gatherings tend to be free form. You know, people drift in and drift out. Mm -hmm. um, so if, if it is, we're speaking about these more free form sort of um, gatherings. Mm -hmm. And so just free form yourself on in, you know, a few hours into it, right? <laughs> when, I'm just saying. All right. <laughs> the other side of that is free form yourself back out on the free other Free form side. yourself right back on out into the car that you have driven there because you have your escape plan right i love it i love it i love it yeah. <laughs> and okay so how does that work virtually then with virtual celebrations and oh you know you can um tell people in advance mm -hmm. um whether even if it's a free form situation you know or a, or a virtual situation you can let people know hey um i have something else and by something else you mean um netflix. i'm gonna be on my couch watching netflix but <laughs> doesn't matter what it else. is you don't owe people explanations. You do not. You do not. You have something else, another commitment to yourself <laughs> beforehand, and you're going to be a bit late. Is that okay? Right? Mm -hmm. Most people will say yes. And then, okay, once again, you freeform yourself back onto the, Zoom, uh, onto the Zoom call two hours in, right? Yeah. And say, hey, da, 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 da. oh my gosh, you guys are on dessert already. Okay, great. I'll just have my note to us now. Da, 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 da. <laughs> And then poof, you're gone in like an hour and a half. So yes, you can tell people that you have to log off early as well, right? Yes. yes. And you know? here is another one. Here is another one. Yes. Take breaks. When you're in those social situations, right? Find a safe space. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now that may that may vary. Sometimes it's the bathroom. Nobody's gonna argue with you. If you say if you disappear off to the bathroom, as long yes. as you don't spend an hour there. Nobody's yeah, going to come checking to it. see if you're okay. Yes. Okay? So you can Now go here's in. a tip. Here's yeah. a tip. You see What's what you tip? do. <laughs> you go into the bathroom, you spend about 15 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You come back out. You make a fast circuit through the crowd. Fast circuit. So they just so they see you. They see you. Hey, da 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 da. How the yeah. kids, blah, 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 blah. Back into the bathroom for another 15 Ooh. minutes. Oh, man, that is next level. <laughs> yes. I may or right. may not have done this. And, and sometimes, <laughs> depending on the weather, it might be the garden. Mm -hmm. You know, you might have to fetch something from your car and you might spend 10 minutes in there sitting there fetching it. Because you know how many things you forget in your car, sis? Yeah, so many things. And, and you they, know, all have to be, they all have to be retrieved. You know, I forgot something in my car. I'll be back in a minute. Yes. I'll and oh my gosh. Few, I'll be back in a few. And oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I forgot something else in my car. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, uh, you know, probably you, you, you can use, you know, each of those excuses, except yes. for the bathroom can, okay, the, if it's the bathroom or the garden, you can use them multiple times on yes. a multi-hour visit. If it's your car, yes. you might get away with twice. Twice, if you, max. If, if, if you're returning to a house you used to live in as a child, you can go and revisit memories in your old bedroom. Yes. Right? There are lots of places where you can hide out if you get overwhelmed. You know, mm -hmm. you can breathe deeply, you can do a little meditation, or right. you can stare out of a window and wonder why you agreed to this again when you could have right. said no in the first place. <laughs> you could have just said no. 
<laughs> Why did I do this? Why did I punish myself with this torture? Okay, that so tip another one, tip. Say no. <laughs> say that again. I said tip number one was say no. Spend Thanksgiving no. alone. But exactly. you know, exactly. assuming that you have you have you have guilted yourself into spending Thanksgiving with other people. Which is likely. Which is likely. Let's face it. Take some breaks. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Last tip, sis. Um find kindred oh, no, spirits. Not, the last tip. <laughs> not not last, not last, not but last. find kindred spirits. So yeah. yes, yes, they're going there are going, of course, to be conversations. As we've mentioned before, um, don't attend every argument. Well, probably don't attend any arguments, but don't attend every one that you're invited to, right? Mm -hmm. But so av avoid them, or better yet, avoid arguments altogether. Find a kindred spirit um, or two people that you hopefully know and that you enjoy, you can enjoy some kind of one-on-one -on -one conversation with, right? Because introverts tend to like uh, conversing and socializing in smaller groups. Now, this year of all years, all groups should be small in any case. That is true. Let us start there. But, you know, listen, we already know some people are going to ignore that, unfortunately, right? Mm -hmm. If you find yourself in a setting, I don't know, of 20 people, which you should not, but if you do, right, find a, you know, a, one or two people that you think you have something in common with and have conversations with those people. And can I just use this as an opportunity to revisit point number one, which is that for reasons of health and safety, you can yes. ask in advance, how many people are you inviting? And yeah. then you can say, well, given, you know, given all the givens, I don't feel comfortable in a gathering that size. So I'm going yep. to opt out this year if you don't mind. Yes. Right. Honestly, this, this, this is this is the year of all years, as we said at the top of the show, of all the years. You can literally say, I, you know, I don't feel safe. I'm not comfortable with that. Mm -hmm. And you are less likely to be pressured. Yeah, you, you might be pressured, but, you, but the likelihood is, is significantly reduced compared to previous years. Okay, so next tip is, and we talked about this already, avoid triggering people and topics. So we talked about the topics yes. already. We talked about the topics. And, you know, the there people. are certain there are people and you know we all have those people we all know those people yes. that stir things uncle up. this auntie that etc yeah. you, you just, know that you know the people you know when you're Billy circulating Bob. through the crowd just circulate around them and keep keep it moving that's that on keep that moving, we don't need to say right? anymore you don't need do to do a triggered. vacant a vacant distant wave you know look just over their left left shoulder but not in the eye and just keep it moving exactly exactly don't, don't and and people like if you you know that you know the people are going to be asking you I don't know about, you know, are you, are you going to get married? Are you going to have kids? Um, mm, yes. Why did you mess up your career? You know, all those, yeah, all those things, <laughs> loving questions that, that are frankly right. none of their business anyway. That are anyway. none of their business and they're hurtful, you know, but you know, the people who always ask them, just give them a very, very wide berth. Save yourself absolutely. the aggravation. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So this next one is um, one of my personal favorites. This is not for everybody, but mm -hmm. this is one of my personal favorites. So, um, is again if you're a guest right do the dishes do the dishes I understand that this is not going to work for everyone but there are people for whom this will be wonderful and why it works for me personally is that not that many people want to do the dishes which is great so that automatically cuts down there's not going to be any crowd of people rushing to do the dishes mm -hmm. so you're going to have even fewer people around you probably just going to be it's probably just going to be you alone at the sink or maybe you and one other person Mm -hmm. and that's it right and then it's probably going to be a lot of a lot of um you know crockery and cutlery yeah we have a big block of beautiful blissful solitude right um while 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 you're being like the ultimate guest right <laughs> well and helping out your host or hostess okay i am not a big do the dishes person but I'm mm -hmm. actually always happy to help clear up. So my version yes. of that is to see, you know, circulate through and say, can I, you know, you see, you see plates lying around, you take them through to the kitchen and you take yeah. your time coming back. <laughs> right. Yes. So I may not do take them myself, time. but you know, yes, yes, I, will, yes. I will, you know, and I still get great guest points. Tell you, you go and pick them up and then you bring them to me and I'll wash them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's a deal. It's a deal. It's a deal. Okay. Although, although, we're, we're still, we're still um, looping in some COVID-related uh, tips. Frankly speaking, this year, 
we ordinarily would not recommend this uh, disposables, but this is the year to do disposables for safety reasons. Yes, um, because this is a year where you're probably yeah. not going to want to touch right. the dishes at all. You're not going to want to touch the dishes. You're not going to want to do the, yeah, this, this tip is for other years, not necessarily for, for yes, this Yes, this, this is a general tip, yeah. um, but, but frankly, this year, um, if possible, everything should be disposable and that way, and, and you know, make sure- And biodegradable even, people. And, and biodegradable and make sure that people are seated if you are having a gathering um at home um if possible make it outdoors mm -hmm. if possible have individual tables mm -hmm. if possible make sure each person has their own which they should anyway but has their own um you know plates cups knives etc cetera, etc cetera, in, individually yeah. and then and then you know have the garbage disposal area clearly identified and people just clear their own stuff yeah this is a good yeah. time to use the large living room i that happened i went to a friend's house right and the way she had it set up is that mm -hmm. we were all in this living space mm -hmm. and we were able to sit apart but still in earshot so we could yes. talk we could converse we could socialize but we were not up under each other and you know dining rooms tend to be a little more enclosed they you know yes. they encourage you to sit very yes. close to people so, yeah. you know, this may be the, the, the Thanksgiving of the tray on your lap. That's, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Trays are big. Right. Right. Do you know what I saw that I'm going to try to find um, find the link for? I actually saw some uh, COVID, very um, elevated design, mm -hmm. but some COVID um, serving serving uh, stuff, right? Okay. So, for example, like a, like a cheese, a cheese tray, so I guess. We'll drop a link. Yes, but it's divided, right? Ooh. So that people can sit apart. It's in the middle of the table, right? Yeah. You sit apart, but each of you has your own. Oh, that's wonderful. So it's communal, it's communal, but safe. I love it. I love it. I know. Okay. Amazing. So, all right, thing, you do the last one. The last thing is, if you have, if you have not followed our advice, which is mm -hmm. to spend it alone, to drive yourself, to find space or whatever, plan a decompression day. Black Friday is for you. Relax, relate, release, shop from your couch. Shop. No, <laughs> no shop, shop. Switch off. You're going to be able to switch off afterwards or make it easier to socialize. Mm -hmm. So that is, that is it. That is yeah. how you survive Thanksgiving and other major holidays. Yep. And so, um, you know, in advance, everybody, you know, happy Thanksgiving and, and so on. And exactly. uh, stay sane. That's <laughs> all I can say. <laughs> right. And thank Good you luck. for listening to another episode of our podcast. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. You've been listening to The Introvert Sisters. Loved what you heard? You can catch all our episodes on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, SoundCloud, and all other major platforms. Subscribe, rate, and write a review. Find us online at theintrovertsisters.com and follow us on Instagram and Facebook at The Introvert Sisters. See you next time. Peace.